Oh, this is fun. You know, uh, Matt Wallace has been going around. Uh, in fact, he, he made a uh, whole documentary uh, like attacking trans people. and We've been hearing about it for like 100 weeks at this point. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's been forever. And uh, it was all about uh, how do you, you know, what is a woman? It's his tagline, you it's know. It's tag, his tagline. Every sitcom character needs one. Steve and, Urkel. Asking Matt a question Walsh. he can't himself answer. And here is, apparently he goes to this... Um, Young America Foundation event at the University of Iowa. And um, this is their kind of effort to be a to do a Charlie Kirk 2.0 turning points USA thing. Right, Bradley? Remember Scott Walker's involved in it, too. And yeah, and people might just uh, note on the Young America Foundation, uh, Jeff Sessions is an alumni when he was a Young American, so it's been around for a oh, while. Oh, it has. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I guess they're getting rebranding a little bit. Though. Yeah, back uh, back when you didn't really worry about thread counts and sheets, if you know what I mean. Um, here is uh, uh, here is Matt Walsh's presentation of an exchange he had with a student that he's entitled "Woke Student." Um, Struggles, struggles with Matt Walsh's what is a woman question. This is the Matt Walsh version or edited version of this exchange. Or and at then, least the Young America Foundation's social media post on it. Yeah. YouTube short. Yeah. And then we'll play the raw, the raw footage. That's the question at the end. I mean, everyone knows what the question is going to be. But so what, what, what is a woman? What can you define the term? <laughs> I think the answer to what is a woman is um, a person who aligns with feminine traits that we traditionally associate with females, or that people that align with the feminine side of the spectrum. So that's my answer. Um, And I think that answer should, uh, the definition of everything changes over time. And as we continue to learn more about what humans can really be um i think that can continue to uh grow and i hope i hope you understand that so i always have okay and so there's uh that's what they present there which i actually think is a i actually think that is basically when people ask, you know to the extent that i've been asked that question that's more or less what i do it yeah. is like um people who associate with the gender construct that most often uh, is associated with um, female biology uh, presented at birth, but not necessarily. Yeah, and, and this is uh, revealing in the fact that Matt Walsh has asked the same question in his own documentary, and he doesn't have an answer himself. Like, he, he can't say it anymore. Oh, well, no, he, he, his answer is it is a an adult female right well with a uterus or with a vagina but then but even he understands like the reason he was caged and then he'll say but there's exceptions that prove the rule right and in fact well he'll be asked like say a woman has to have a hysterectomy is she still a woman or that's the exception that proves the rule it shows that there's a mistake yes it's only a mistake it's completely uh, circular logic because if you start with the assumption that it, it is a mistake i mean I, I, I would imagine that in other areas, he does not believe that God makes mistakes right. like that. But uh, And that trans people would say that it's a mistake that I was born with these organs when I am actually a woman. So yeah, why, a, why is there one mistake if, a, if a, a, a cis woman is born and she's unable to get, uh, have children, but it's not a mistake when someone's born in a body that doesn't comport with the their ag- gender identity? Yeah, to me, it's a small step to say, like, there are intersex people. I don't know even, like, if Stephen Crowder uh, denies that. And, yeah. and it's a small step from there to say like yeah maybe there's some type of misalignment between gender the only way that's difficult is if you believe in sort of an adam and eve style fundamentalism right exactly. and you know look uh, uh we didn't nobody in this office generally does the titling for our clips of videos we title the the daily show um and so you know i'm not going to be too too pissy about uh, woke student struggles with matt walsh's what is a woman question but to be honest he uh struggled with being heard because everybody was shouting him down as he started to answer the question right yeah. um but uh, be that as it may the important thing is at least we're getting the whole story about that exchange 
Um, or as David Sachs would say, not. I don't know if you saw that tweet that he did. It was like, I couldn't believe an adult used that context. But, <laughs> but, uh, but we'll talk about that in a second. But here is, uh, here is actually the raw footage of that exchange. Okay, you got your clicks, buddy. You got your video. That's good. And I'll, I'll answer this, and it will be. Don't we? Don't we do this all the time? You, you, you what you're asking me is, do we, do we put, um, as you say, the benefit, the well-being of human beings above? the truth, and what I'm telling you is that that is the ultimate false dichotomy. We do not have to choose between those two. In fact, there is the, the ultimate well-being for a human being is to live in the truth with a deep recognition of truth. And that, well, that's how you, here. I mean, we, this isn't a new thing. I mean, we, we do this already with uh, religion. Um, we've never seen anybody walk on water. We've never seen anybody walk on water, but there are okay, so many. There are so many stories of people who have been changed by, uh, you know, by God. They've seen the light of God, and so okay. you sort of turn a blind eye Listen. to science, right? We're gonna need science because okay. it's for our benefit. We're gonna we're gonna let someone else ask a few a few questions. Sounds but like I, they're kind of scared of the answer. Before you walk away, though, hey, hey, wait a minute, 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 wait, wait. Because any, anyone who comes up, and if you want to argue with me about the trans stuff, it's, it's great. You know, I'm, I'm glad we can have the conversation. But we're talking about truth. We're talking about uh, uh, biological sex. So I always have to ask the question at the end. I mean, everyone knows what the question is going to be. But so what, what, what is a woman? What, can you define the term? Oh, and that's that was. That's, that's the that's where they started. Oh, I see. So I see. it's he doesn't want to uh, follow the line of inquiry that the kid himself wants. Right, to, right. He pursue. wants to like yeah. This is like a uh, um, uh, stand up comic going with his like old standby for the uh, closing joke, but um, and he really needs to get time and let other people talk. But he realizes that he runs into a problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with his entire worldview, which is built upon a fictional retelling of Jesus walking on water which is silly. or coming out and moving a boulder and being alive or um you know turning water into wine or on and on and on this guy is a yeah. fundamentalist christian and his belief system is um completely what he thinks is objective truth yeah is uh essentially what the bible has told him mm -hmm. and so he, he tries to stay siloed in a very narrow way now I don't think that uh, Matt Walsh is a um, is a uh, young creationist. I don't think he thinks it was a six day thing, but he does believe that God did all of this. Yep. He just did it in longer period of time than six days, and uh, that does not really. Uh, he's not really adhering to biology and science. and science in the way that he feels so important it is to before, but. No, he's actually ignoring but, it. He's actively ignoring intersex people. He's actively ignoring that there are multiple factors that that make someone uh, like or that are identifiable traits for someone's uh, being a woman or being a man. Um, sex organs is one of them, but it's also testosterone levels among a variety of other things. Um, and he ignores those more complicated factors because, as Matt said, it's an Adam and Eve construction of gender. Um, so, like in the in in reality. His construction of gender is based in religious texts, which is f f pretty far away from scientific understanding, as opposed to the the more scientific uh, construction of it, which is what he's he's pretending is is his belief system. And that's what's makes it so satisfying because they understand that you can't even I mean even the, back in the Scopes Monkey Trial they realize oh we need to make some kind of scientific gloss because mm -hmm. like since the Enlightenment you need to speak in order to speak persuasively in a public way it can't just be about religion and so that all these Walsh Shapiro, all these guys. I mean, actually, it's logical that there's only men and women, but that is just that's a pose. And when you get down to what they actually believe, like he said, like walking on water and all this silly shit, like turning a whole bunch of loaves uh, or making a whole bunch of loaves of bread out of nowhere, like 
get out of here with that posture. Like right. nobody takes you losers seriously. You are living on a different cloud. You're you're completely like out there. And I think they've been getting off on this trans issue of like acting like, oh no, we're actually the science ones. Right. Yes. But right. it's completely farcical when you actually drill down to what. And it's doing. also just amazing too because the Republican Party and conservatism is such an anti-intellectual, anti-education, anti expertise kind of project that but they still have this self-consciousness that they need to be a part or a, uh, position themselves as uh, being you know credentialed in that same way and it doesn't stand up to kind of very basic scrutiny from even the college student but they're right they do need to be credentialed in that way because the fact is is that as many uh, uh, fundamentalists there are in this country there's not enough and so they need to launder their uh, religious ideology and their sense of a, a, a binary gender and a patriarchy and uh, specific roles uh, for women and specific roles for men uh, in society as dictated by the Bible. They need to launder this through secular arguments mm -hmm. because otherwise they know they lose. And uh, it is the it, 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 it this is where it also sort of mirrors, you know, the abortion argument, um, they, you know, to the point where they'll like convince themselves well, it's not an abortion if you've uh, if you if, if the child was conceived when uh, through rape because God allows, you know, we, we decided that that's OK. Or to the point where in the Mifepristone case, they'll literally make up side effects for an abortion drug so that it looks scientific but when you scratch the surface and there's some level of of uh you know scientific uh, scrutiny it's it's basically made up but it looks super official it's information warfare